here and for today's video I'm gonna be doing fun things to do in the fall slash winter it's taking me so long to film and edit this video and I'm really excited for you guys to see it and yeah I'll be showing you guys some DIY treats drinks and outfit ideas and just kind of like fun things to do all the products and clothing pieces that I talk about in the video will be linked down in the description box so if you guys want to like see what I'm wearing they will all be linked down below so if you didn't hear me properly in the video you can just like look down the description box so yeah and that's about it let's just get started first thing you can do when you're bored in the fall time is to redo your room and I actually have a specific video on the yellow room decor that I'll link down below but basically I just took down my pictures that were just kind of like there and I was like hmm I want to change up my room I really like redoing my room and interior design so it's really fun and I bought a tapestry from Urban Outfitters it's called the plum and bow one and I just threw on a really cute emoji pillow. This is the devil emoji pillow and it's from dressing.com. I'll link it down below. Take away your things and go. The next fun thing you can do is to wear sweaters or go on a fall photo shoot, which leads me to my fall outfit idea. So the first one is very casual and I'm just wearing this knit sweater. It's like a very oversized chunky knit sweater from Shein Side or Shein. Um, I'll link it down below. I paired it with some skater skirt. It's a burgundy one from Forever 21, which I got last year. And that's it. For my second outfit, I thought, why not go with the flannel? Because flannel is definitely a staple fall piece. So I decided to wear a oversized flannel because I wore it in the wrong size. Um, it's from zaffo.com. And also, I wore some jeans. And oh my god, can we talk about these shoes? They are literally so cute. They're these like animal print flats and they look different on each side it's from dresslink.com it's so cute like i'm gonna wear them every single day a fun fact i found a really big leaf here's my reaction oh my god guys i just found like the largest leaf you will see in your life this is the size of my face <laughs> For the last outfit, I am just wearing these same blue jeans and some white Adidas Superstar. And then I'm wearing this really pretty gray sweater with some lace detailing and cutouts on the shoulder, which is so cute. And I also have this really pretty bag that's from Dresslink and the sweater is from Shein. And yeah! Now, if you don't want to go to Starbucks and get a pumpkin frap, then I'll show you a slightly healthier one. So you'll need one and one fourth cup of milk, one and a half cup of coffee, and yeah, I'm having trouble here, but um, about one fourth cup of pumpkin or just a few tablespoons. Three tablespoons of honey and or any sweetener you prefer like agave cinnamon and two serving of light whipped cream or more if you are like me and you like whipped cream <laughs> now blend all of your ingredients together oh my god i broke i broke the popsicle mold what i broke my popsicle mold but you want to pour it into some type of like ice cube tray or popsicle mold like me because you, know, you can get a bigger um space i guess so just pour it in there or even just a regular bowl would do just put it into the freezer overnight is this is a healthier recipe because it's like less fat than like regular pumpkin frappuccinos so the next day i just took out all of my pumpkin frapp goodness and i just put it into the blender and make sure you take it out 30 minutes before you're about to pop into the blender just so that they're like melted i guess and after you blend it up you are ready to go with your diy skinny pumpkin wrap and yeah, red whipped cream hates me. It doesn't even work. But it tastes so good, and I definitely recommend you guys to try this out. 
so the last treat idea is this pumpkin rice krispies which was kind of a fail for me because i cannot cook for my life so i mixed in about five and a half cups of mini marshmallows and just kind of like stirred everything up on low heat to medium low because the first time i literally burnt everything because it was on like high heat and i was like oh my god no uh -oh, but since i didn't have orange food coloring i mixed in yellow and red but in this case it was pink because i got the wrong one so it looks really pink but don't worry i got it i i got i got the desired color later so you also need like six cups of crispy rice cereal and I just kind of got these like brown rice crispy which was a little healthier and you just want to like mix everything up and it looks kind of like natto which is like, am I saying that right? It's some type of like Japanese beans, it's like sticky looking. And yeah, you just want to mold them with your hands. I put some coconut oil so that they won't stick to my hands and get all gooey and stuff. You can get some Tootsie Rolls or just like take some green food coloring and mush it onto the pumpkin rice krispie trees and that is it they look really bad but that's okay <laughs> Last but not least, you can always burn candles to make your room and house smell super nice. So I have a tiny candle addiction. I've got a bunch from Bath & Body Works. My current favorite right now is the Frosted Cranberry. It smells so nice. So that's also another thing you can do. And that is about everything that wraps up this video. So that's about it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you like to see any holiday videos coming up on my channel, be sure to give this video a like. So I would know and I will be starting it very soon because it's November. So yeah. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.